Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 24! it's day 24 and it's the last one in these boxes we have 25 on the door here but 24 is the last one that we have to open in this section I can't believe it's Christmas Eve oh rolled away so today we have Mitchell and Peach Flora number one fine radiance facial oil oh Sounds quite nice. Um, I really like facial oils and I think they are really nice to hydrate your skin and give it a little extra boost. So I'm excited to give this one a go and see what I think to it. I've not actually heard of the brand so I'm going to get to try something new. So it is day 24 and we are ready to open this door. Let's have a look what is behind it. Oh, oh god. Oh. I can't even get the jar out and it is oh Christmas pudding flavour so that is obviously very festive and very very fitting for the holiday season it says oh so it doesn't actually give us a breakdown I don't think of what it's tastes like but I'm gonna open the jar and smell it just hold on okay so I'm not even lying it actually smells like a Christmas pudding I probably wouldn't have picked Christmas pudding as my top choice for a full jar of coffee but I'm very excited to try this and I will definitely report back with what I think to it and let you know how it tastes. And yeah, that is our final Beanies advent calendar door. So it's Christmas Eve today and to be quite honest with you, it still doesn't feel like Christmas which is kind of poo but we're rolling with it. I've had day 24 of my Glossy Box Advent Calendar. I've got 25 days on that one, so I have got one tomorrow. I've opened my last door on my Beanies Advent Calendar, as you will have just seen. And I'm feeling pretty positive. If you saw yesterday's Vlogmas video, you will know that I was at Asda at midnight. I thought it was better to include that in yesterday's video because I kind of count these vlogs as... Even though that was past midnight, so it's technically the 24th. That was before I went to bed, so it's technically yesterday for me. That's how my brain works. I have just sat down at my computer. I am about, oh my gosh. It's 20 past 12. How is it 20, 20 past 12? I'm about to upload yesterday's, not yesterday, is the day before's video. Then I need to edit yesterday's video. I'm a little bit behind, so I'm gonna upload two videos on the 24th. Um, this one will go up Christmas day. Christmas days will go up on Boxing Day. Um, but I'm about to upload that video and then I'm about to edit my vlog from yesterday. I don't really know what we're doing today. Basically, we're going to have, I'm in my pyjamas right now. Um, little piercing update, I'm feeling alright. It's swelled, the, the bar they put in is longer. Oh, not this long, quite clearly not this long. Um, and basically, like, for instance, if it covers that much of this much bar, it's swelled and definitely needed a longer bar but it's fine I actually can't feel it I, I'm feeling absolutely fine so if anybody did want a piercing update in that respect then it's feeling absolutely fine um I did catch it once in the night I rolled over and I kind of like as I moved my arm I just grazed over the top of it and I sort of went oh I forgot that was there kind of thing so that's how we're feeling this morning feeling fine and rearing to go as I say about to edit my vlog I've got, this room is an absolute tip. Genuinely, genuinely an absolute mess. I've got so much to tidy up in here, so much to sort out. And it's gonna be one of my jobs sort of between Christmas and New Year. I really wanna sort out and get loads of stuff done. I've got a load of stuff that I need to get done and I'm just procrastinating. <laughs> but today we're gonna to have a pretty much a lazy day in our pajamas, it's Christmas Eve. We are seeing my sister-in-law at some point today. I might need to pop over to mum's at some point today or we might just go over tomorrow. I'm not quite sure. We're going out for dinner tomorrow as I'm, I've mentioned several times. 
so I'm not sure exactly what the plan is for the rest of the day but tonight I'm going to have a nice lush bath I'm going to sit down relax enjoy I've got new Christmas Eve pajamas my husband's got new Christmas Eve pajamas I was meant to do a whole video and share with you the things I'd bought never got round to it so I'm going to share those with you later I'll share with you what bath bomb I'm using I'll share with you our Christmas Eve pajamas all that kind of stuff and yeah, I think we're just going to have a bit of a chilled day today. I want to obviously sort some bits out and get ready to do whatever. I've got a gingerbread house as well that I was supposed to decorate and I just haven't got around to it. I was going to do a video on that as well, but we know what happened to my main channel. Life was just too stressful, so I didn't bother. But, you know, um, yeah. So I'm going to head off for now. I'm going to edit my vlog. Make sure that they're both uploaded and scheduled ready for this one going up tomorrow. And yeah, I will catch up with you at some point later on today when I've got something to share with you. So I've, done, I've put some makeup on because I'm going out soon and my eyebrows are looking very strong. I might have to take my hair down to counteract this because it's not a good look. See if we can soften the eyebrows. My hair's been took up all day. God, look at that. Yeah. So either look a little bit softer already. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, but yeah, I am going around to see my friend Ellie later on today. I thought I would just pop a little bit of makeup on. Do you like my lipstick? Mm -hmm. Um, so basically I went for like nude eyes with a festive red lip just because I thought that would be fun and quite clearly I filled my eyebrows in they're looking very dark Um, I forgot what I was going to tell you now because my eyebrows were like but yeah basically I'm going around to see my friend Ellie later on I'm currently uploading yesterday's vlog because I uploaded one this morning I'm uploading this one it is literally taking an age actually taking a full on age to upload so it's got 23 minutes left which doesn't sound like a very long time, but it feels like it's taking forever. So, it is currently five to six. I have demolished a can of Coke. These are my metal straws. Look how cool I am, not damaging the planet with my metal straw. Um, I need to order a little like pouch to put them in off of somewhere like Etsy because obviously when I go out anywhere, I don't manage to take them with me anyway, but I do drink a lot of like coffee and stuff when I go out, so I don't actually use that many straws anymore. I'm very, very conscious of the amount of straws that I use because my teeth are so sensitive that I can't actually drink. Like I like my cans of pop in the fridge because it makes them cold, but then I can't drink out of them because the actual coldness touching my teeth is immense. I can't even deal with it. Same as if my coffee's too hot, I can't drink it. If my tea's too hot, I can't drink it because it hurts my teeth because they're so sensitive and so basically, obviously the straws won't work for the tea and coffee because you're not supposed to drink hot liquids through straws because you would actually burn yourself and die. But, um, yeah, the, the straws have come in handy for drinking cold drinks. Um, and I really want to get some to put in my handbag. I think I'm going to buy another pack of them and keep one of the straw cleaner things in my bag, like a straw cleaner and some straws in my handbag because that is just better I don't know I don't know but yeah basically I just put some makeup on I'm currently watching a documentary on YouTube um it's about a man called Chris Watts and his it's a 51 minute documentary and I've watched 41 minutes of it I thought I would pause it just while I'm waiting for some more of my video to um upload because obviously it's slowing my internet down so my video is not buffering as quickly as it was I'm also trying to shop the sale but my internet's not working. I'm looking currently looking on Pandora. I am on my Christmas list for some earrings, but I've not managed to pick any out and I just I'd have a look what's gone in the sale. See if anything good's gone in the sale. And yeah. So I'm gonna carry on watching this documentary. If you don't know who Chris Watts is, basically he is I'm gonna do this because I feel like my oh, look at my eyebrows. Um if you don't know who Chris Watts is or you've not heard about this, it's quite a new case that's come to light. And um, 
the video I'm watching was published on, I can't even tell, the 20th of December, the one that I'm watching. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll link this dis this video in the description. I mean, Merry Christmas Day, like, Happy Christmas Eve, I'm start watching a crime documentary. Basically, this man had a wife and two children, and his wife was pregnant with their third child. He starts having an affair, basically, his wife and two children go missing, and they don't know where she's gone. So he rings up and they get reported missing and it turns out it was him. But it's really dodgy, like it's one of those, do you know, if you know anything about crime cases or if you look into crime cases, there's some crime cases where you kind of watch the documentary and you're like, oh my god, like what has actually happened? Like who could have done this? Because you watch it and you're like, this cover up is far too good. Like whoever's done this obviously it's wrong whatever they've done if they've murdered somebody but their cover-up is amazing and you're like oh, yes you knew what you were doing like you've gone to prison so you weren't clever enough but you knew what you were doing this guy is like a bit of an idiot honestly <laughs> i mean i'm not suggesting that i could murder somebody and get away with it or cover up the story you know what i mean i that is not my intention i that's not what i'm gonna do but like I could have done that and made a better job of it than he did. Like, honestly. If you watch his case, just like... He was... He could have been so smart about that and like definitely at least got away with it for a lot longer than what he did, but just what an idiot, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, my deepest respects go out to his his wife, well, his ex-wife, I suppose she, she would be known. Like, his wife and his kids and I'm really sad for their loss and that they have passed away and what he's done to them but like he's just a bit of an actual idiot like there are certain there are certain killers or certain criminals and you almost admire them because they're so smart and so clever and they're so good at what they do they do is the wrong way to put it if you know what I mean but they're so clever to be able to do what they do and either get away with it or get away with it for so long. I don't imagine his intention was to go on to do anything else to anybody else because of the situation, the family confinement of what actually took place. I don't necessarily believe that anybody else was at risk of him in that immediate situation. But like, honestly, I just think, are people real? Do people, do people not actually think about these kinds of things because I could have made a better job than he did. <laughs> not that I'm gonna. Just throwing that out there, I'm not gonna. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna sit and watch this. I have got about, go to my friends for seven. I'm going to see Ellie at about seven. She actually doesn't live very far from me. She lives about five, 10 minute drive away. So I need to go and get dressed. That's job number one. I'm gonna edit a thumbnail for my video yesterday. And then I'm gonna watch the last 10 minutes of this documentary. I'm gonna schedule my video. My video might go live at seven, actually. And yeah, one of my friends popped over earlier. I was talking to my friend earlier. I was telling her about my new piercing. <laughs> um, so I think that's been the hot topic of conversation recently. There's still a lot of people that don't actually know, which is surprising. I bet you're all surprised because everybody in my video knows and anybody watching it knows but there's a lot of people in my personal life that don't actually know which I'm not bothered about but yeah it's fine it's not hurting it was a little bit achy earlier but I think there's a little bit of swelling on it and the bar looked like it had kind of moved a little bit so I think I've just kind of straightened it back up a little bit and it's, it's feeling fine I don't really want to get changed and get dressed but I can't go to Ellie's in my pyjamas can I I mean I've got my um, normal pyjamas on that I've had on all day um, oh my god oh, I'm going to show you when I get back from my friend Ellie's I'm going to have a bath and I'm going to see if we can settle down and watch a film tonight oh, I'm going to go and ask my husband to see if he can pick a film for us to watch I've got Grinch pyjamas, I kind of like to watch the Grinch we've both got Grinch pyjamas should I say, oh my god I'm going to show you our pyjamas when I get back and when I've been to my friend Ellie's I'm going to share the pyjamas with you I'm going to have a bath, then we're going to settle down and watch a film, and it's going to be amazing. So, ah, oh, and then, I need to edit this video 
to go up tomorrow on Christmas Day, but I don't know when I'm going to have a chance. I don't know. But I'm going to go and get sorted. Let's have a look how my video is getting on. Oh, it says 14 minutes now. So I'm going to go and sort that out, get a thumbnail, um, prep that to go up properly, and finish watching my documentary before I get ready to go out. I might chuck my camera in my bag while I go out later but I will keep you updated I will keep you updated and share with you anything that we've got going on basically sat in my car I've come to come out and it's iced over so I've got to get out and scrape my car and I'm really trying to avoid doing it but there's no other solution I've got a heated back windscreen so that's slowly clearing you can see just here um, but I've got to get out and do the front and I'm really dreading it because it's cold and I don't want to but I need to Ugh. So I am back home now. It is oh god, what time is it? Twelve minutes past eleven at night. So my original plan was to come home pretty early, have a bath, put my pajamas on, get snuggled up in bed. I might pop for a quick shower actually, just to sort of freshen up. Um, because I really want to sleep in my new pyjamas tonight. I, I don't want the novelty of having to put them on in the morning. That just doesn't seem fair. I've got my Christmas pudding. Bean is coffee. It does actually taste like a Christmas pudding. I mean, I kind of like it. It's really weird because it does actually taste like Christmas pudding. I don't actually like Christmas pudding. But I kind of like this. I don't know if I drink the full jar myself. I might take it around for my mum to try it. And if she likes it I might sort of keep it cohabiting there. And then I can kind of drink it time to time. It's not the worst um, flavour I've ever had of coffee. But maybe I could have had a, a better one. You know, it, it's not horrible. But it, it tastes exactly like Christmas pudding. If you like Christmas pudding go and buy this beanie's coffee. Like honest to God. Um. But yeah, so originally I was going to go in the in the bath, relax, unwind, blah, blah, blah. And I went to see my friend Ellie and that was lovely. I spent a couple of hours there and then on the way back I popped to my mum's, went to see my mum. Spent a bit of time there. Now I'm home, it's like 10 past 11 and I think it's a bit late for a bath. Just now I've been his coffee. Got a packet of Doritos because what else would we be in this festive season? And I thought I would share with you my pyjamas because... Originally I was going to do like a Christmas haul and all this kind of stuff and it never kind of panned out, did it? So, first thing that I've got is a pair of slippers and they are Pusheen! Santa Pusheen! Santa Pusheen! And they are little footlets, so they're very, very, very soft. I cannot wait to put my feet in these. But again, they've been sat in this bag waiting for me to do like a Christmas one. And then I feel like Christmas is now over, isn't it? By the time tomorrow's done. But I wear these all year round anyway, so I don't care. So I've got Pusheen on. Um, My husband doesn't particularly have Christmas pyjamas as such. I am a major believer in Christmas pyjamas. I could campaign that it should be the law that we should have new Christmas pyjamas every Christmas and I will stand by that for the rest of my life. So I bought us new Christmas pyjamas this year and not only did I buy us Christmas pyjamas, I bought us Mm, they kind of match. They're not exactly the same. They're not the matching ones that you have like mummy, daddy, baby, kids. You know, they're not those kind of matching ones. We've both got Grinch pyjamas. My husband has got these ones. These were from Primark. And they're the Grinch and they say Christmas is cancelled. So the bottoms are just grey and the top says Christmas is cancelled. And it's the Grinch stealing the Christmas tree. So they are his and he's going to pop those on today. Oh, well I've just thrown them across the room so, you know. And then mine... It's one of these great big box sets that looks like this from Primark. I don't know why I'm trying to do this so awkwardly because it's not going to work, is it? Like this. And on the pyjamas, it looks like this. And it says, nothing but trouble. And then it's got the red pyjama bottoms and some little socks. And I'm well impressed. I'm so excited to put these on. I've had these for so long. And like, I just wanted to, I wanted them to be my Christmas pyjamas. That's what I really wanted. And, oh, this makes a really nice fox breast. Um, I wanted them to be my Christmas pyjamas. And then I saw that they'd done the Grinch ones for the guys. So I bought my husband the matching one, like, similar pyjamas. Because with the bottoms being grey, I can wear the bottoms all year round. Which is kind of what I wanted. Because 
you know, it, they don't have to be specific. I've got enough pairs of pyjamas that I could wear a different pair of pyjamas every day and I'd still be alright for a whole year without washing anything. And um, so I didn't really mind that mine was more so specifically Christmas. I, if it was cold in the summer, I would still wear the Grinch pyjamas. I'm not bothered. But I just thought it'd be really nice. I am going to unbox these because I'm not actually taking them out of the box with not actually filming a video. Um, but they are what I'm going to go and snuggle up into. I might go for a quick shower. Oops. I might go for a quick shower. Eat my Doritos. Wash this makeup off that I've got going on. Just put a little bit of makeup on to actually try and look alive for going to see Ellie. <laughs> um, but yeah. Get sorted and probably head off to bed. I I know it's not midnight yet but um, I sneaked downstairs for a cup of coffee and a snack and... So, I've got to, I suppose I've still got to be good having her till Christmas morning. <laughs> but Santa's been. So, I am very excited to see what I've got for Christmas tomorrow. And yeah, basically I'm just pottering around now. I'm going to try and watch a video or two on YouTube, I think, and see from there. But I'm going to unbox these pyjamas and see what they look like. They are fleecy, they are nice. I am leaving the house in these tomorrow. Just, just throwing that out there, when you see me tomorrow, and I'm on my way to my husband's grandparents for the day, I will be wearing these pyjamas and I'm leaving the house in them. I don't know if you guys fully understand that yet, but I'm going out in my Grinch pyjamas tomorrow. My husband will get dressed. He's not as, he's not as into this as I am, but I do not get dressed on Christmas Day. That is my rule. So if you make me leave the house on Christmas Day, I go out in my pyjamas. That is just the rule. So, yeah. I'd love to know if you have a Christmas Day tradition. Like, I feel like there's only two ways about it on Christmas Day. You either wear your pyjamas and you stubbornly do not move from your pyjamas, or you go, like, full-on, like, proper ballroom glam. Like, do you know what I mean? There's, like, the people who say they make, like, there's two kinds of effort on Christmas Day. It's either the pyjamas and you go all out and find the tackiest Christmassy pyjamas you can find that are amazing, or you go like so super glam just to sit in the house and eat a Christmas dinner. And I'd love to know what you wear on Christmas Day. Like, do you just, do you go pyjamas? Do you go just everyday regular casual? Or do you go like full on glam? I would love to be one of those people that like literally full on glams the whole thing up. But I know for a while that I'm going to get up in the morning, be in my pyjamas, I'll be comfy, I'll be cosy. We'll have a cup of tea, we'll open us presents, we'll potter around for a little bit, then we'll go out. And it'll be dead easy, won't it? And I won't have to think about anything. It'll be so much easier. Although I'm now thinking, I hope there's no loose threads on the inside of these pyjamas because it might catch on my little ball. But yeah, I am going to go and sort out, have my cup of tea and enjoy my Doritos because I'm a bit hungry. Midnight snacks and all that. I need to decide if I'm editing this vlog tonight or if I'm going to edit it in the morning. But I really don't know. really can't bother to edit it right now so I might just sit and chill for half an hour and see how I feel afterwards. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> but yeah, I shall catch up with you later. So I have taken my makeup off. I am about ready for bed now. Put some uh, moisturizer and some serum and stuff on my skin just to give it a bit of a, um, a boost. I've got my Grinch pajamas on. I've got a very awkwardly placed star on my top. So one of these stars on this side here is very much rubbing on my piercing and I think it's going to be quite a problem overnight. But these are my Grinch pajamas. These are my Christmas pajamas. We cannot let this rubbing... Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, a little Christmas spot. <laughs> um, I'm not going like, to ruin our Christmas pajamas. I'm pretty sure once I get in bed I'll be alright and I'll I just lay so that I can't feel it. But I am ready for bed. I look decidedly disgusting like this, don't I? My top says nothing but trouble, which it probably sums me up. Probably sums up this year as well. I mean, we've had the mantra that absolutely nothing can go wrong. Nothing else can go wrong this year. <laughs> Try it, our boiler is broken. So think about that one it keeps losing pressure I'm not gonna worry about it till boxing day we're out tomorrow anyway so it just means that it probably won't get warm in the morning when we feel like waking up 
we'll just stick the electric fire on that we've got downstairs and then obviously we're going to be at my husband's grandparents all day tomorrow anyway or most of the day we might call up my mum's on the way home and yeah so we're going to have presents here in the morning go out and then by the time we get back obviously it'll just be like late on we can if we repressure it we can put the heating and stuff on but it's just dead annoying i went to wash my makeup off and turn the hot tap on and it was running freezing cold and i was like it's not quite white. right it'd be warm by now so I came through and the boiler was like Meh. and if you know anything about boilers ours takes about one bar of pressure and it was on 0 0.4 i don't know anything about boilers but i know that's not good because it got a red light on it <laughs> i mean so basically our boiler might be broken so i have to pay british gas to come out and fix it because i'm with british gas so that'll be jolly good won't it you know what i mean can anything else go wrong i mean i shouldn't really say that should i because quite clearly it might but that is everything i'm not even gonna edit this now i'm gonna edit it tomorrow but yeah it's technically tomorrow it is are you ready for this eight minutes past 12. I'm gonna go to bed have a nice chilled one and then tomorrow morning we're gonna get up we'll have presents we'll sort it out and yeah so I'm um, I don't know what I'll vlog in the morning I don't think I want to vlog like the presents set out or anything like that I might just vlog after we've opened them and give you a little glimpse as to what there is we don't actually have that many presents I will put that out there right now there's not actually that many presents for us tomorrow we kind of haven't really bought for each other this year and I've been colossally bad at buying for other people and we do have some nice bits to open but basically I'm gonna go to bed look at my Grinch pajamas one more time haha <laughs> um, I'm very excited I'm very excited to wear these tomorrow because I feel very festive in them it is the Grinch that doesn't like Christmas <laughs> I feel like the Grinch this year. I feel like I don't like Christmas. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna snap out of it. We'll be alright tomorrow once we get sorted. And yeah, I'm gonna head to bed so that we're up reasonably early tomorrow because obviously by the time we've got up, got ready and gone out, well got up, had a cup of tea, had some breakfast or some bits of something, opened our presents, then I need to edit this before we can go <laughs> and upload it. I mean I can edit it and set it uploading and then I can do my description and stuff when I get to my, um, his grandparents if I take my laptop and yeah so I'm gonna head to bed hope you've enjoyed this video it is technically the last day of vlogmas tomorrow which makes me really sad but I'm gonna vlog all the way up to new year I think just because might be fun <laughs> I'll vlog all the way up to the end of the year and let you know what's going on give you an insight into my life a little bit more and I'm off the first week of January. I think I go back on the 7th. Let me just have a look. Yeah, so go back on the 7th because that's the Monday. Do you want me to have a thing and let me know in the comments if you want me to vlog that first week of January where I'm off, if I've got anything good to share with you. I think my husband's back at work, so it depends what I get up to. But let me know and I will keep you updated. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed your Christmas Eve. I hope you're enjoying your Christmas Day because it's Christmas day now especially for you guys watching this unless you're watching it late but it's christmas day i head to bed and i shall catch up with you tomorrow bye <laughs>